Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the grind. We're sitting at 30,594 skill points, uh, 2,269 hours played, 6,350 games. We're going 2283, 758. This is rank 359 on the world leaderboard. Uh, 17 days, 5 hours, and 36 minutes until the end of season 14. What is up? Risk takers, welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weeknight streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me, ladies and gentlemen. Back on the grind. Could take the Siam position. Don't love it. If I take ooh. But if I put a three there, I get slammed by white. Maybe I have to take the sign position and then green caps behind me. That'll be a fun game if they do. Okay. We're going for the funsies pick. I'm pretty sure these settings are viable for top 100 for me. As far as better than that, you know, the amount of time one would have to dedicate. So we're, we're grinding. We hope we, we got to 30. Oh, he doesn't even pick the Africa cap. We got to 37,000 K. Before the end of last season. These ones take a lot, lot, lot longer than Europe caps. Good for green. He doesn't take the bait. All right. So I get an early Australia position. Fair enough. Red goes. USA. We've got 14 and 7. So a 66% win rate is fucking abysmal. Um, and I should be doing better than that. And should be is in absolutely in air quotes. So we're we're learning here um what works for me as much as what works for everybody else. Um Yeah. Let's give Green a chance to get some of their material out. Of that position. Do we win either of these 2v1s? No. My dice are soft. Okay. Starting with a 13 capital. Take Australia turn 2 or 3, depending on if that 5 gets used up. So... I like the Ural cap for black. Black clearly knows how to play if they're picking that. The Brazil cap is quite shitty. If you were uh, white, I think you would have picked this. Or this. Yeah, I think white takes Mideast here if they're good. We learn a little bit about who's good, who isn't. I like the Southern Europe cap for green. Interesting choice. I don't know that red's cap is good, but I don't know that they had a much better option. I think they had to pick this. So, like, red could be good and just had shitty options. Green spends the five. Wise decision. Wise decision to get rid of that five. Or it's slammed. I will be slamming it, I think. Might as well just take it now. Yeah, black moves in. Yeah, black's good. Cool. So one of one of the big things I need to be careful of is getting card blocked. We'll wait one more turn. Nah, that actually doesn't do anything. We take it now. Oh, red. Red doesn't hit 11 v 11. Yeah. So red, I think, is in a precarious position with that capital. Or v 2 still not 100% roll. Lol. <laughs> ah, and my dice remain soft. Yeah. Okay. Here goes Australia turn two.
We got some early generation, but being the Australia player is not who you want to be in these games. Green has the best capital, I think. Let me show you the players. I am playing as Magenta. Uh, Magenta, this is my uh, main account. We're currently sitting at 30,594 skill points, and we have gone 14 and 7 at rank 359. In the second position, Sivs plays Orange from USA. White overextends to take South America, but they move the 11 in to their capital. White doesn't suck either. Um, and they are James Lege from Mexico. In the fourth position, we have Lars Lord Luigi from the Netherlands playing as green. The black player is Jonathan McCurley from USA playing as black. And the red player, Littleton Apta from Germany in the final seat. And we are going to settle into our positions now, folks. See how the cookie crumbles. Yep, black with a massive capital. Two caps in North America is very interesting. I don't know how orange deals with red, so there might be some heating up back. White into red into orange. Red's kind of pincered. Long term. Seven a turn is better than five, at least for now. Stock up on capital. Both green and red ally me at the same time. Green and red also joined the lobby at the same time. So we're going to be looking out for sus play from green and red in relation to each other. Maybe I would have kicked one of them, but. Um, I, I'm having a hell of a time getting any lobbies to fire at this point, so. Over 4v1, yep. Yeah, White has a decent, decent chunk of material. Green, ma Green makes multiple attacks. Why? They just don't, they don't want to stack in North America. They want to be in Asia. So I never hit this four, right? I avoid hitting that four at all costs. That blocks off my capital. If I do it, I do it to make a kill and then move to a better capital. Oh, that is very favorable to me. Great. Black lets me have two capital cards instead of one. I never take either until I have to. Also give black a capital card as a thank you for that. This is a neutral attack. In Middle East. Middle East won't bother anybody. At least not in the early game. We were almost caught up in troops. And 23 on our capital. Still have our exclave in the Americas. Maybe we try to take a card with it. 
White would like half a gun. Probably a bit more. White's cap is also blocked. <laughs> Green takes Europe? That's crazy. Okay. Don't think black breaks. Black immediately breaks. Great. I'll continue to trade with black there. Red sets early. What? Oh, no. Are we going to see some bullshit? <laughs> Red sets early. They, they're in the 15 seat. They take the four trade. Why? They're going to clean out most of North America except for the orange capital? The fuck good does that do? Yeah, nothing. That does nothing. Oh, and he puts off cap troops. Very, very scary. Well, at least I'm not on the four trade anymore. I'll stay exactly where I where I am in the card sequence. We pull a Joker as our fifth card. We don't have to spend it. Okay, orange skips, which is a mistake. Orange skipping is a mistake. That's going to make oranges kill more viable when the time is right. Always gonna leave some troops. Always oh, gonna leave a three. No, he's gonna pull that back. Please don't break me. <laughs> he breaks. Hoppa. <laughs> I like black. I like black style already. This is a fun game. Yeah, Data Green is acting very upset by that. Red has 15 off capital troops. Might as well make it 20. What are you even going to do with that 20 second? Yeah, and he puts Orange in a single position. I'm going to line my stack up, but not close either of my capital cards. I don't force trade my Joker because... That would be dumb. <sighs> All right. <sighs> orange, ta orange takes card number five here. Yeah, or just three of their four cap cards not blocked, which is how they're going to keep it. They look like they know how to play well enough, right? They don't. Uh, they continue off of this line rather than closing another capital card. White sets. Takes Africa? No, White doesn't care about Africa. He's busy blessing the reins. So, if green takes a 10 trade, does he dedicate any off-cap troops? I think in this regard, dedicating off-cap off troops does stop black from smacking. Oh, but he doesn't retake instead. Okay. Okay. 
Black is another card in Europe. Takes the 12. <laughs> Puts green in a single position. Ah. Okay, black's antagonized. Red hits my two. I only hit the white two, they lose four. He close a capital card. And give them other capital. I get the feeling that red sucks and they're gonna do something dumb. I want them to have the troops to do that. I now have the second largest capital after black. Orange set takes the 15. This is their reward for skipping. So they're a card behind everybody. They have a 60 capital. Yeah, I can keep trading with white. Green retakes. It gets immediately broken by black again. Love it. We see the pattern change. We, ad we adapt. Ah, the pattern has changed. Nope. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Yeah, black sliders. Black knows how to play. We gotta make sure black dies. But them antagonizing green will probably help that hasten its way. Red sets takes the 20. This is what I was hoping for. Give him an open capital. Maybe he goes down and fucks with white. Sixty-six. Poppy poppy time. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, baby. Exactly what I hoped you would do. <laughs> exactly what I hoped you would do. Okay, great. Red's playing like the right kind of noob. He's my, Red is my kind of noob, folks. Orange, I think, is good. Black, I think, is good. Orange isn't slidering. Black is. Things to keep in mind. All right? Who do you want to go into the end game with? You want, ideally, to go into the end game with least skilled opponent. White puts a decent amount as guard. Five? That's not very much. Green sets. Hit the black capital. Smack it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> he threatens, but he doesn't hit. Please set and break. Please set and break. Fuck yeah. The war between black and green is adorable. It'll be lots of fun. You bear witness to how this cookie crumbles. Hopefully with a mutually assured destruction between the two. Black says, nope, <laughs> you can't have it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. And we now have to trade the Joker. Too bad. 
Leave our cap open, get our card in Mexico. Just chilling. That's a that's a great place to take cards for as long as that position exists. Because it keeps the red cap open. Yeah, Orange continues taking off of that line. Uh, I can tell Orange knows how to play because they're not taking any additional cap cards. Yes. Okay, White takes the... Ooh. Is there a world I can kill Orange? What am I going to get? So I need to take 68. I need like 140 troops, and I'll, I'll be close. This is why you don't skip, folks. I'm very close to having 100% kill on Orange. Very close. I don't think I take it. But I want to. The 45 trade. I want to. Orange doesn't know how close they are to death. Sitting on five cards. When I have a trade on three. I mean, if I get a if I get a flat roll, oh, I want to do it so bad. I want to do it so bad. Oh my god! Just knock out one player from this fucking game. Do I have a big enough pair of balls, folks? So I am such an idiot. I am such a stupid, stupid idiot, aren't I? Oh, it's too fucking close. Fuck. <sighs> Yo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's why you don't card skip, folks. <laughs> That's why you don't card skip, folks. Oh, my God. All right. I want that 44 to continue to exist. I think we're safe. If we get a one-two punch, we, we, we lose, but that happens no matter what. I think we sit. Like that. And that's why you don't skip, folks. Because <laughs> that can happen, right? Some guy gets a set on fucking uh, three. You're sitting on five cards in the second sequence. And you go from, <laughs> from hero to zero real quick. Okay. 138 hits my 51. Oh, never mind. The suicide's into black. Great. That's great. Now, that might feed it to red. No, red can't access it. That's really good for me. Unless black has cards. That's really good for me unless black has cards. They don't. Red can't actually access that. Right? If they have cards, they can. Let's see. Okay, he's going to try kill green. He should. It doesn't actually do anything because I still get all those cards. Okay. I'm glad that uh, Green chose this moment to shuffle himself off this mortal coil. Red might set kill. Red has cards he can kill. Uh, kill black. Really good if he has cards, but he doesn't. Good. And he's blocked to that line. Oh, perfect. We get all this. We sweep this shit up.
Okay. Now I have four capitals. The only one's going to be weak. I don't actually need the Australia one. Two ones I want to be strong are Southern Europe, Greenland. Maybe I could have killed Red and Set again. Should have probably done, uh, done that math. Yeah. And White's going to walk all the way around. But White's cap's kind of locked to me. White's doing what he thinks he needs to be doing. White also never allied me. Okay, he's going to get to Australia. He's going to Sioux Slam. No, he's going to leave it blocked. Okay. Now getting 70 something or 17 a turn. And we get a set from white. Hit me. Don't open your capital. Yeah, he's going to take good. He's going to take my Australia cap. Hopefully we get a bad roll. Bad roll, bad roll, bad roll, bad roll. Yes, good. Bad roll. And he's going to fortify, fortify a decent bit in. Red takes a trade. Doesn't leave anything in. He just takes it. He rolls a capital and doesn't keep it. Okay, gives it to Red. Yeah, gives it to Red for free. Better cap for red than uh, USA. All right, so red catches up to me now. Cool. Attack white. Let's be friends. White keeps hitting me. Yeah, White doesn't know what to do. Cool. Okay, Red sets. Takes the 40 cap as well? No. Attempt to card block. He takes the 53? No, he doesn't. Comes to car block white. No, he doesn't car block shit. He doesn't know how to play. Okay. This guy is a noob. All right. Well, can I have Europe? Can I have it? How do we feel about that? White still doesn't know how to play. Good. White is in a terrible position. 
I'm going to set on five, though, so I need to buff my capital. Red's going to pressure it? Or does the 15 back off? The 15 backs off as well. Okay, good. I'm not trying to lose anymore. Really good three cap position in the top of the map. White's going to take the 90 trade. That's not going to be enough to hit my 84. Hits the 71, please. Please. And back to capital. Yeah. Okay. So white card blocks themselves. So for a long enough time scale. I'm always going to be ahead in cards on these guys. So my job is just make sure they can't hit me meaningfully. Okay, red is being aggressive to white. We like this. So on five again. That retakes. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so I'm in the lead at 326 and five. Red's at 263 and four. Sorry, uh, white's at 263 and four, and red's at 277 and soon to be four cards. These guys are both equal and weaker than me by about a trade. And a card. Make each cap a hundred. Make my main cap a little bigger. Good. Good situation. 438. Both of Red's caps are locked and white releases? No. Doesn't open. Okay. Red takes a trade. 100 trade. Need to be at about 500 to take a 250 cap. Red breaks me. And white. Interesting. likes that. <laughs> and black sets. Ooh, leaves a hundred off cap troops. Black or white says I don't want to be card blocked. Okay, red pokes the bear. If we get another cup of coffee in our lives.
Red Sue's one of my capitals. Interesting. Ha! Huh, and he bots. Great. Embodying changes my play. Cool. What's the set around a hundred? Hmm. White's gonna get one of these capitals. Shit. Well, at least he quit. Now I gotta we now I gotta beat White in a one v one where they have advantage troop wise. Okay, one thirty six doesn't actually win a sixty five hundred percent, does it? It's close. Okay. Lose big, please. He does. He loses okay. 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 Does he fortify a buttload out? He does. Okay. 382 to 435. I'm at a 50 troop deficit from, white being, from red being an asshole. Don't earn the cards either. Okay, so how do I take cards such that I don't lose them? This is that fortified. do that. Breaks Europe. No, he doesn't. Fortifies out. Okay, good enough. That? Yeah, need a set to start setting up a block. I also need to force him to take this card. Good. I'm happy you break that. I want you to break that. Okay. 413 to 445, he sets, gets the 130. Anything on that capital means I mean he's easier to block. You would want to prioritize putting troops on the open capital, but it's only one card open. I have way more capital cards. 72, okay, so half. And start setting up a block now. Yes. Yes. It's my 17. Good job. Okay.
Oh yeah, you get those cheap Africa cards. Nice. Good job. Good job. Also good job not rolling up off the two. Need to make these too large. They only need to be about 20. As soon as he cuts up off the 241, I have a bigger capital that's active. Okay, cards on that front. And hopefully we get a set on four. Do you hit all the off-cap troops with this set? Oh, yes, close the line. Yes, close the line, please. Good. No, not yet. Really good play. GG James. GG James. Good play. That. Do I care? I do. Can't lose that. Hmm. Waiting till five here sucks. Mm -hmm. Make your Africa cards good. Now there's less points I have to block. Now we have a set on three, right? Yep, takes Africa. Cool. And I wait until he trades. My best card here. This, I think. All right. We got a trade. Yeah, the, the card sequencing is unfavorable to me.
Mm-hmm. Yes, please take more th more cards than you need. Card block yourself. Okay. Block? Close the line. Sick. Perfect. Okay, both caps are closed. Now we wait for another trade. And we build out a card block from this position, which I think now works. All right, time to get to a Q and a question. I'm trying to get to one a show, if I can. In lieu of doing Q&A episodes, we're doing Q&A every day. And if you have a question for me, I can't always get to it in YouTube comments or in Twitch chat, but if you do it in my Discord, it will be answered in priority sequence. So uh, we got a question from Gino Latino. Hey, Peteman. Couldn't help but recognize you look big. Do you lift? And if so, what's your bench PR? Um, I'm not a, I'm, I'm out of shape right now. I'm, I'm probably heavier than I've ever been because I play video games for a living. Um, yeah, let me do this. Of course, I'm out of set. Can't blame the video games. Probably heaviest I've ever been because I haven't time and effort into taking care of my body. Um, but there have been times in the past where I have, so we have a block here. Let's hope. He needs to set. Currently weigh about 220. I think my ideal weight is something like 190 for a guy who's six feet. He was expecting to get a card out there. Yes, he was. 23 does not hit 38, sir, but a big fortify will. will. We finally get a card block. Each card right now is worth a third of 170. Is that 60 troops? Takes the whole thing off. Interesting. There's my card. Okay, so he is going to get a card. Off that line. 
Need to do too many things with my fortify. This can work. Pull the troops back to capital so we can't roll it. Um, I'm, I'm big into fitness. I think um, taking care of your body is really important. I think of physical health as a combination of uh, strength, endurance, balance, flexibility. He doesn't even leave, leave troops out, please. Uh, sleep, diet, meditation. So if you have those six things in balance, um, then you can be thought to be a physically healthy person. Right. At what point do we kill red for two cards? Um, he's going to get cards on that line. Again, I don't terribly care. See how this goes. But as far as like lifting heavy, that's not really what I want to be doing. Um, I mean, I like lifting heavy, but like getting big, I have no interest in being a larger person than this. So um, for me, what I'm trying to do is just focus on function, being pain free. I'm trying to stretch, trying to keep from getting heavier. You know, just be responsible for a guy my size, right? Okay, and Let's see what he does still. There's my card. My card is here, off the capital, off this capital. Yeah, my card is here. my best card. Tricky puzzle to solve. Might still take a bit. We got a question here from Dr. New. Why does competitive gaming seem to bring out the a-hole behavior in people? What can we do about it, if anything? I don't know. I can't speak much to competitive gaming and people being shitty to each other. That's not, uh... Okay, smack, smack. Yes, good. Max the block. So we want it to be about matching. There we go. Yeah, I get a good roll there. Tricky puzzle. It. Why does it bring out the asshole behavior in people? What can we do about it? Why? Couldn't tell you. What can we do about it? I try and put out positive vibes. I try and put out love into the universe. I know it's really hard, tricky sometimes for people to understand. Um, oof. You said on three is quite bad. We don't. Okay, so we got to work with what we got here. he put out Jesus hmm I 
I don't think this blocking is working. Maybe I just need to be a bit more patient. One of the things I try and do vibrationally, right? I try and put out good energy. I try and, you know, avoid the name calling as much as possible. Avoid me being in a sour mood. All right, so you're going to get the Greenland cap. Please get a bad roll. And sometimes we succeed. Yeah. Sometimes we succeed better than other times. Mm-hmm. Big fortify to it as well. Wow. Okay. This might be a retreat to a single position and let him take the board type scenario. Or it might be a punch the shit out of him. Let's try both. It's the 25? Yeah. Good. Okay. I actually have a troop lead now. He is ahead on cards. Mm hmm Retake South America. So let's see if he lets me hold this. Catch back up for a while. Maybe fucks up. The set is 190. The 200 cap can steal my 243. But in doing so, it opens. Same off the 204. I think I actually do keep this a little on the low side to make it tempting enough for them to hit. We have a main capital as our focus. This one's going to take a bit. Okay, 
in your 195 tree. At some point, the red kill is on the table. Cards in Alaska. Good job. Now I have to take a capital card. This one. Mm-hmm. Now I'm card blocked, right? Mm-hmm. Good job. Hot hands. Very low odds here. 8v22. Come on, baby. 7v21. Yeah, no chance. So you got 45 e 55 is that what we just saw <laughs> nice I think I need to close my eyes and reset because I've been looking at this puzzle for too long. He's not playing badly. Good. Hmm. 
As the sets get bigger, the total troop count increases the volatility. Okay, he breaks there, so he does give me a capital card off the 201. Uh, yeah. Right. Probably safer on capital now. In a set. Do we go for the steel? No. Well, at least this guy isn't doing anything. It's too dumb. <sighs> Why are people assholes? It's an interesting one to, to mull over. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm frequently aware of comments on other people's channel. You know, people who don't like me. And immediately... It's, it's made obvious that, like, they shine the mirror up to themselves. Like, I hate Pete. Okay, you know, as a person who hated himself for much of his life, I have a lot of empathy for the things that one might see in me that are dislikable. Um, but I certainly don't go around calling people names on the internet. So. And it sure takes a lot of courage to do so, right? <laughs> to, to, to shit on someone anonymously. I don't know why, Dr. New, I don't know why people uh, don't know that being kind to other people is free. It's a strange one. Definitely a strange one. That's just how I think about it, right? Like, kindness is free. It costs you nothing. Yeah, I don't think this one ends. I'll play forever, I guess. Well, we definitely don't force trade the Joker because that would be dumb. Wouldn't it, folks?
Well, Spain never attempts to card block me, though, so. He's still slightly ahead, but the gap is narrower. Also, neither of us are lined up to take this red kill, but it is on the table. Two cards for 171. Hmm. Yeah, we're really equal, aren't we? Got better generation. I think uh, taking this was the, the worst decision. Because it's going to take me so much longer now to car block him. Maybe he just runs out of time. It's amazing how even we are.
fucking negative trade. What are we dealing with now? 265? What do I need to reliably roll a 171? Maybe I get the cap here. Assuming he doesn't have a set on 4. I'll go back up 2 cards. Yeah, he's not setting. All right. I'll take those two cards now. At least something's changed. There we go. That should even out things a bit. Only one of his caps is blocked. The other two both have a single capital card. So my play needs to encourage him to hit this and this before I even think about trying to card block again. Okay, maybe he starts taking this one. That looks well lined up to hit my 660, my 633. It would win it, but I would have a line to retake off the 1000. If he goes for it. Uh, 
Sets are big now, and I have no set on four here. That's rough. I think it was worth spending the Joker to... Oh, yeah, he just closed that capital. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was a very key error. He just closed that capital, folks. So he's one remaining capital card. Board starting to look a little bit better for the old Peepman. Yeah, we have a locked 610, we have a locked 735, and the 1545 is open. I mean, I want to see him take it. I want to see him take that. Be trading first still sucks. Okay. Sets.
Little 30 blocks. Let's see what he does about that. All right, set, obliterate the 30s. Right on three. I can smack what he leaves out. Maybe the 2170 hits my 1,000 cap. Does he hit the other 30? He does. Okay, he takes two cards. I, I only have to take one. This does still progress him to a card block. And he doesn't leave troops out. So I just do the exact same thing I did before. Thirty-five. I set on three. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Those cards are good. It's got 400 troops on me, which as a ratio isn't all that much. Okay. Put like a hundred on each. Okay. Is that it? That's a three fifteen. Yeah, just take the cap, man. Maybe you get a good roll. It's both. So this progresses to a um it's 
Reverse block now. The next time he misses a set. Probably need to make them more than yeah twenty one. Need to make them more than thirty. They should be thirty fives. Make your last capital card. Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Did I? Yeah. Okay. Set on four, please. Yeah, I have the set follow-up Joker. Doesn't set on four. Okay. We are progressing this board state. I know it doesn't really look like it, but it is now. Okay. Of course, we don't force trade our Joker because that would be dumb. Okay. <clears throat> 21 a turn. Set. <clears throat> 500 troop advantage. We have a lot on his locked capitals, though. Another card block on. Each card is now worth a hundred troops. Okay, it's a forty. Into that. Okay. Next time you miss a set on three, you're going to hit that three in China. Or this. This is good. This gives me a multi-turn block potential, depending on what he does. Finally, we're in this situation. Finally, okay. Do you take the 1079 cap? If you do, how much is left? I would love it if it ate like 2K troops. That would just be lovely. Come on. Yep. And takes multiple cards. Great. Fine by me, we have a reverse block now. 
Misses the fortify. No, he gets the fortify. All right. Uh, yeah. Next card is the China card. We don't need to set here. Okay, a thousand troops on me. <laughs> takes the China card, takes the cap. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Fortifies back. Trying to cap now lock. However much goes back there. We continue this block. Good roll, please. Reasonably good roll, better than his was. I wish this gentleman a good game now. Oh, did I let him get a card? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I let him get a card. <laughs> That's not, can't be bot motion. I am an idiot, though. And that fortify is out. So. Hmm. Let's see his cards. If he has cards, I cry like a baby. If he has cards, I cry like a baby. Car block? Please, car block. Fuck! <laughs> okay. This is still fine. He's closing a cap line. I don't see how he gets another card. Big fortify, I guess? We're still close in troops. Yeah, big fortify. That's how. It's giving me the option to get favorable rolls, though. So we like that. Ooh, steps off that way. How much is coming in? Lots. We are very, very close to a cap run. We are incredibly, incredibly close to a cap run with that play. I don't take it. Is 
Please get bad dice. No, he gets good dice. Okay. Very slight edge in troops. That was a pretty bad loss. To build up somewhere. I'm thinking about this wrong. That's 24 turn. Come on, dice. Yeah, that was okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these rolls are really good. Eesh. It's not going to work. We stay equal, though. We stay equal. But the roll cap's better than Australia. I don't know, folks. I think we've just reset, and it's going to take a long time to grind back. Good on you, sir. No, well, he's going to take cap cards. <laughs> Mind by me. You try to take it back? Good dice, please. Nope. <laughs> Fuck me.
Even if he has a set on three, he can't get either of the can't get any of the caps back. Yeah, okay. Let's try to figure out how to block from here. Still fair. Look at the troop count. 1126 to 1128. He's got two cards on me, though. I'm going to start taking the Australia cards here. We do have a trade. To fortify to North America with off cap troops. Yeah, tries to block that up. A massive off cap stack. We like this. This long term is good for me. Okay, and the set is seven. Question is, do I get a bad roll? I don't actually think it matters. I think we take from... Australia. I don't think he dedicates any troops down there anyways. 572 might roll the 294. Maybe as a trade on three, which in which case it was good for me to hold. Yeah. Does he try for the Ural cap again? Or sits in Kamchatka. Sits. Yes. Cool. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, still two cards ahead of me. Not sure what the thinking there is. Yeah, 
And if he just wants North America, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what the thinking there is. 380. Maybe it's just to insist on not being card blocked. We need to bank some troops in case there's a smack of Reno coming. Man, the troop count is still fucking close. Yeah, I think I chill in this holding pattern for a while. Maybe he does something dumb off a set. So far, the, the play has been of high enough quality. Okay, he's getting ready to do something. I should let him do it. And again, hope for Caps Dice to be normal. As opposed to the ridiculous bullshit we have been seeing. Maybe he takes Australia? Yeah, I think that's the line. I think he's looking to take Australia here. I kind of want that to happen. I feel like we've each had three caps for an hour. Okay, 900 rolls something, right? Set, go for Oz. Bad roll. Man, was I ever close to a fucking cap run there. Mm 
Is it worth taking an extra capital card? Get a good roll on a hundred stack. Wasn't even that good of a roll. Now we're not equal at all. Okay, I guess it is still fairly equal. This is fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous fucking game. Only two hours on the clock. Feels like it's been a lot longer. Hmm, that stack's gonna do something, man. I just have to wait for it to do whatever it's gonna do. Maybe it goes for Australia? Or your all. I don't even know which is better. Just do what you're gonna do. Good, I don't have a set on for so. Do we have a set on for? Hmm, we don't see a set. really weird this guy's putting like bits of troops on every fucking thing each turn I think a big ass off cap stack has to be a has to be a mistake at this stage. Come on, set and hit one of them. Let me reciprocate. Trades are now four hundred and fifteen.
Oh, oh give me a. All right, we got the urination break in. Now we get the beverage break in. All right. Um, shockingly, uh, everything looks exactly the same. How does this end? It's not really trying to card block me either.
Hmm. That's fine. Sets are now four fifty five. Well, I'll force some action on a set. Might as well. Thank you. 
trains. Thousand troops on me. I bring that back to a gap of 450. Five fifty, something like five. Got five hundred troops on me overall. <sighs> Once you account for the card differential, Okay, that, and we'll just set up this block now. So 1900 beats 8, 1600 barely does, so a little bit. A little bit. And then 80 troops here is all I need. Okay, and hopefully he uses the 622 in a or away, but we'll figure it out. Now, he can attack up off of India. Fortify 40 stack out there as well. Okay, most of these other cards open in Asia. Then what happens? We don't know. Let's the block. Pulls back. Okay. He does not seem perturbed by this. Pulls back. Changing the configuration. Territories on the board. Yeah. Sets for 70. Now it's 1,100 troops on me. Me a capital card. Makes it easier for me to card block him. I don't think that I don't think that was a good card to take at all. Make sure we're over fifty percent of total. 1100 there. Okay, start to break up Africa. All right, this board position is starting to look a little better. Because he does actually run out of cards in Northern Asia, and then what? Okay, okay. I think I might have the makings of some kind of card block soon.
Okay, what happens? What happens now? I'm dying to know. Surely something. Where does the stack move? Does the stack move somewhere that the 33 is accessible to it? No, he lets me card block him. Well, he's on five. He's going to smack some 40s. I guess the uh, trades are never favorable. Well, break it, I guess. Okay, well, maybe this whole... Oh, no, he's got two in the bottom. Yeah, nothing I can do about that, though. He accepts a block? Interesting. Man just accepted a block. Okay. Cool. That's good. It's a win for me. That cost him almost, uh, almost, uh, 150 ish troops. Okay, so. Quite enough. Punch through. Ooh. He's going to let me get him, I think. Yeah. He's going to let me get him. I only have to take those three capitals. And you have way too much off cap. All right, I think we finally have it. No, because he still gets set, right? Yeah. 
Maybe he doesn't have a set on four. Make him have it. Okay. You got it, you got it. And you got it. I'm gonna punch back, do the same thing. And the rest to punch the block. Yep. Good. This is what I want. Miss the fortify. Now what? Twenty one thirty three moves over. Gotta scroll a buttload of troops. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, 664, suck my fucking cock. <laughs> well, we're a little closer. <laughs> Two v one, nice. Two v one fails. It's a forty nine stack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do it. All right, I closed the gap a bit. Please do it. <laughs> Please do it. Yes, he's going to do it. Lose big. Thank you. All right. We now have a thousand troop lead. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for finally fucking up. Oh my god, that took so fucking long. <laughs> that took so fucking long. Oh my god. 
sure feed me your fucking other capital too while you're at it that's great we love this this is this is the tilt folks guys tilting now Okay. Nice little block in Africa. Take the 1324, please. Doesn't really benefit your game. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't really benefit your game. <laughs> Alright, we finally did it, folks. It's all over but the shouting, ladies and gentlemen. We are now double his troop count. Let me just clean up. Quite the grind, that one. Excellent. And you to tighten the noose. Card blocked. Ah, set. Well done. This game. Actually, I didn't see that. Way to notice it. Definitely do not get. 
give this man that card. Okay. Man, you got to respect this guy for for trying as hard as he is. Just not quitting. You pull too much off at Capra you, though. Oops. The 0% slider blitzing is a technique. To get rid of troops on a territory without actually taking the territory. Expensive. Try fortify a bunch out again. Mm-hmm. This time you won't miss, but I'll have a set, right? Yeah. Mm. Let's just get all my troops on a cap and cap run them already. Oh, actually, I have it here, don't I? Good. Good game, sir. Two hours and 40 minutes. Started at... Uh, 30,594, defeating, yeah, definitely a Grandmaster, GG James, uh, Orange Master, White was Grandmaster, we got Novice, two Novice, one Intermediate, one Master, one Grandmaster, so 31, 301, so we get 800-ish, 700, no, not even. 30.6 to 31.3. 700 skill points, which puts us at rank 289. Ladies and gentlemen, we've gone 15 and 7. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> we found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weeknight streams on Twitch. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.